launching new political campaign ad from Republican U.S. Senate candidate Karen Housley. It accuses Democratic U.S. Senator Tina Smith of personally profiting from ethically shady investments. But is it true? Here's Pat Kessler's reality check. The sounds of ocean waves and the good life. A couple on a beach clinking champagne glasses. Karen Housley's ad is an homage to a popular Corona beer ad. The beach, the beer, the toast. But Housley's ad attacks Tina Smith. She profited from the opioid crisis, supported the largest tax hike in state history, hid her money in a Bermuda tax shelter. It's a visually compelling ad, and there's a lot to unpack, but it makes false and deceptive claims. So let's start with what's true. It's true. Smith did support Democratic Governor Mark Dayton's $2 billion tax hike on the wealthiest Minnesotans in 2011. It helped erase Minnesota's $6 billion budget deficit. It's deceptive to say Smith profited from the opioid crisis. Smith and her husband own stock in Minnesota-based St. Jude Medical. Abbott Laboratories, an early opioid promoter, bought St. Jude in 2016. It converted all the stock. Abbott is now out of the opioid business. It's false to say Smith hid her money in a Bermuda tax shelter. It's her husband Archie's IRA, which includes 10 investment funds. One of them is a hedge fund investment in Bermuda. He's required to pay taxes on it when he takes the money out. That's Reality Check. You can learn more about Minnesota's candidates on our website. We reached out to every candidate running for statewide office to make a two-minute video about their platform and answer a set of viewer questions. You'll find it at wcco.com slash election guide.